Nothing to be had there. What is up guys? It's Mike, it's Memo here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now if you keep my voice a bit down because it's about 2 a.m. and you know it's weekend, you know. Some people might still be asleep so or are sleeping. So I'm gonna keep my voice a bit down, but I do want to make some extra progress. So welcome nevertheless. And uh in this particular part, which I hope is going to be the final part of Jargonar. We're gonna see if we can get the claw, so without any further um, stalling, if you will, let's get the claw of Balea. Because, uh, honestly, my good friends, I cannot wait to do... Hey, do you want to go digging? Then don't forget to stock up with Scatty. What do I need, then? Well, at the very least, a pickaxe. And some provisions can't hurt. Or how about some healing potions? There are mine crawlers down there. But, uh... I can't wait, you know, to uh, play a Gothic 3 on the playthrough of Belial. However, once that one has been done, my stalling can no My stalling of uh, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, which you could say I'm really, really looking against of playing um, will have to be done because uh, as soon as the third run is done of Gothic 3 then I do have to continue with the series because the series you know have to be completed very small game and they say it's in an expansion but it, it's just not um, which makes it annoying because I'm more in the mood and that's saying something to uh, play Gothic 4 than I'm in the mood to play Forsaken Gods and I cannot play Gothic 4 unless I beat it Forsaken Gods on the particular path in this case you know if I want to continue let's say I beat it the third run in Gothic 3 the path of Balear and I want to continue to go let's say Gothic 4 the path of Balear or the path of Enos or the path of Adenos the Satan God has to be beaten on that particular path which means that as long as I am not going to continue with the Satan Gods due to the fact that you know it's not one of my favorites, um, then I will never get to Gothic 4, you know, if I never get to Gothic 4, I will never be able to complete the series, and, uh, that is one of the things that I'm trying to prevent, but in order to prepare myself for Forsaken Gods, which is gonna be, you know, uh, interesting, to put it well put, um, but I'm preparing mentally, basically, you know, by playing the third path, beat it in Gothic 3, and then go into the first run, the path of Adenos, into Forsaken Gods, and, you know, maybe first Gothic 4 Adenos, or maybe the second and the third run just to get it over with, you know, but that remains to be seen, but I will first at least beat this particular path, and most likely Gothic 3, the path of Balear path, before I will go to Forsaken Gods. So for those on my YouTube channel that are sick and tired of uh, the Gothic playthroughs, you know, which I can highly understand um, due to the fact that maybe you saw the first run, maybe you saw the second run, and you're like, you know, come on, again. Um, the only reason why I'm doing it is to pre-store playing Forsaken Gods. Um, I'm not really proud of it. But it is the cold hard truth, and I'm a truthful person, so I had to tell it, you know. Um, but just wait for it, you know, eventually it will come out, eventually it will be uploaded, and once it's done, it's done, you know. So, uh, without further talking, let's continue. What do I have to know about mining gold? Take a pickaxe in your hand and whack a lump of gold. Anyone could do that. 
but many nuggets will shatter that way. That's why only people who understand mining should do it. I can tell you more once you have some more experience. Tell me more about gold mining. Above all, you should know that gold is an ore. It's soft as butter. If you strike too hard, everything will shatter. Every digger has his own tricks for knocking some decent nuggets out of the rock. Ultimately, these tricks are what make the difference between a digger and a good digger. Besides that, practice makes perfect. Only when you've been digging for a while will you get better. How's business? Since the tomb has been open, there hasn't been much demand. Raven has no more use for his slaves. That's why they're mining gold now, on Bloodland's orders. And the diggers are taking it easy. Diggers who take it easy aren't good for business. Bloodwin, is he in charge here? He oversees the mine, but he's almost never down here. He spends most of his time with Raven in the temple. What exactly does almost never mean? Last time I saw him was when he came out of the tomb. No ways. The last time he was here was when he sent the slaves to mine the gold. Unlike Raven, he is very interested in gold. What sort of tomb? A cursed, unlucky tomb. The guardians of the tomb have killed many men. Guardians? Are you talking about creatures of stone, rather flat with a round head? That's exactly what I mean. They came out of the depths of the stone by the dozen. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't good to dig out the tomb. But Raven was possessed with the idea of digging there. And once the tomb was finally uncovered, he marched in there with his guards. What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I once knew. He was just as curious. And eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, <clears throat> my throat is really dry. Hey, Scotty, not now. This is important. So what did Raven do there? All right. He... he called... summoned something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. Bright light poured out of the tomb, and then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwind came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. Would you like a drink? A beer would really hit the spot. There's hardly any beer here in camp. But maybe Lucia still has a bottle. No need. I have plenty of There you go. Oh, that tastes good. Thanks, man. You're my hero. Let's deal. Right, let me sell a couple of stuff and then uh, we will go into the mine. They are some sort of a hidden quest, if you will. Hey, you! Nobody ever asks me. I couldn't care less. There's all kinds of 
I will talk with that guy later. Let me first master the arts of the mining. I could have told you that before. It was his decision, wasn't it? Walrit. That was no big deal. Hey! Everything all right with you? Exactly what I the said. slaves are getting the big chunks out of our way. Then we'll harvest no the idea. golden you fruit later. What do I have to know about mining gold? Always dig from bottom to top. That may be difficult, but that way you get more gold out of the rock. How's it going? I'm not going to the trouble of mining myself. We have enough slaves to do that for us. <laughs> we never came by our gold so easily. Hey! What do I have to know about mining gold? Brain work, boy. Mining gold is a purely mental procedure. Don't try to force the rock. It's harder than you. Free your mind of everything and try to become one with the gold. Then it is like meditation, a prayer. How's it going? I slaved the way for the ore barons long enough. It's good that someone else is digging now. Nobody wants to know. Hey, you! What do I have to know That's about totally mining gold? Obvious. The legs. It's all in the legs. Strength and momentum come from the legs. Why haven't I heard about this? How's it before? going? As long as the slaves are working, I'm not budging a finger. That's nothing new. Of course not. You let other people do your filthy work. How's it going? I'm cooking a delicious trouble. stew for the diggers and guards. But the no, slaves, they don't get anything. Some stale water and old bread at the Can't most. Like <laughs> that won't hurt those city boys. Nobody wants to know. Well, it's better than get, getting nothing whatsoever. You don't have to ask me that. So, at least they don't die of hunger. Duty. He was falling down drunk. You don't have to tell me that. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Back at work? Yeah. Now I'm getting the very last piece of gold out of this mine. Can you judge my gold digging abilities? At debt? A5, I'd have to be around 90 before I start digging. Hey, where are you going? Do you want to go into this passage? Well, sure. Why not? There are even more slaves back there. As far as I'm concerned, you can go in. But don't hit them so hard they can't work anymore. After all, we certainly don't want them just sitting around. They have to dig for gold. I see. And who ordered that? That is a direct order from Bloodwind. I thought Raven was the boss here. Right, but he gave the slaves to Bloodwind. He doesn't have any more use for them. Hey, what do you want? I'm just an imprisoned worker. 
I haven't done a thing. Hey. Hey, I'm all right. But Pardis is pretty much down and out. If there's anything you want, talk to Patrick. He's our spokesman. Patrick the mercenary. Who would have thought? I'm the famous meatball hey. slayer. I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Well, why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh... Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that went faster than I thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners are peasants and workers. They trust me, but they won't dare to mount an escape. What do you want me to do? Get you a pardon from Raven? Hey, not a bad idea. But that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. Now, the better potion you give this, this guy over here, the better your rewards. So always give him the best potion you have to offer. Do I have the best potion? It's not the best of the best, but... How are you holding up? I'm beat. Completely worn out. Is it a glorious sunny day or one of those clear nights where a thousand stars are twinkling? I don't know. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze. I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. Here, drink this. Thanks. That does me good. <laughs> you don't even drink it. What a bugger. Hey, you! What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is crucial for efficient mining. Not too flat and not too steep. That way, you'll get the nuggets and make your pick hold up forever. Hey, how's it going? I'm alive. That's all I care about. If you've got something to discuss, Patrick's your man. I got orders from Raven to kill the meat bugs because I'm the wild and feared meat bug slayer. Can't go on like this forever. I'm staying up. Hey, you. What are you doing? Are you melting down your gold? No, I'm washing vegetables. Of course I'm melting down gold, and I'm making coins out of it. Because just imagine, one fine evening, Raven comes along and shoves a coin die in my hands. Out of one single gold nugget, I can mint a heap of coins. I'm so good that no one can tell the difference. How many coins will you give me for one nugget? Well, I don't know you at all, but I'll make you a special price. For one nugget, I'll give you 10 gold pieces. Let's haggle. Mm, no, that's the standard price everyone gets. I thought that was a special price. It is. Everyone here is special to me. What do you know about Raven? You won't believe it. I was there. I saw what he did in the tomb. He mumbled and called some strange words over and over. Cardimon, Fatang Shatar, Fatang Beliar. And then a blazing light came out of the tomb and I heard the scream. Oh, ye gods, that voice. That was the sound of the end of the world. 
Raven spoke with it. They conversed. Raven and that voice. I can't remember what they said. I just know that I could only master my limbs again many hours later, back in the camp. Let's trade. Only 660 goals, really. Not 16k though. I'm a, I'm a bit rich. You know, just a tiny bit. Exactly what I said. told you that before. And there's more, believe me. It's better to watch out who you tell what. That was no big deal. They all ran like rabbits. I was completely alone. And there's more, believe me. I won't be treated like that. Wait a minute. Is there a problem? Mine crawlers. Lots and lots of mine crawlers. We've run into a nest here. Why don't we attack the crawlers? I asked that too. But the guards had more important things to do. Bloodwin has left it to me to remove this problem. I don't suppose you're planning to fight the crawlers. Why should I? So that we can get at the gold in the cave? Bloodwin will just take most of it for himself anyway. And I'm not risking my neck for the little bit I'd get. If you want to fight the crawlers, don't let me stop you. Only don't lure them all out here, okay? No need to. Can you tell me more about Bloodwin? Yes, he's a gold-hungry bastard. He inspects every new vein and every nugget. He can't go too far out of his way for gold, but we don't mean shit to him. And otherwise? He thinks he's the greatest, and can't stand it if someone is better off than he is. Okay, I wouldn't go up against him, even so. Just stay out of his way and don't provoke him, unless you want him to get furious and lose control. I'll take care of the bugger. It's destiny. I killed them once and I shall kill them again. Bag of gold. Not that I need it, but three is good. The only thing I still have to do is uh, get his bag of gold and mine. 
Oh, and these monkey mushrooms. Oh, only thing and a potion. What can do? Where's the veins? I want to go. I'm a digger guru. Many of those uh, gold veins here, but every little bit helps. That was it. Well, there are a couple of nuggets down there, but they're out of reach, sadly. Almost forgot the murky mushroom here. Yeah. Now, the timing, you know, of pressing chop a little doesn't really affect anything, so just click, it's random. What do you get? One, two, or three. So let's get blood went down here and kill the bugger. But first eat a couple of ring boots, also known as apples. Maybe we'll get a strength point out of it. Probably not. Mushrooms. No mana. Too bad. At least not yet. All right, so let's go. Blood, uh, blood win. So that should be it. The crawlers are finished. Bloodwind is already on the way. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I mean, you slaughtered the crawlers so Bloodwind would come here. So whatever you're planning, do it now. Wait a minute. You killed the mine crawlers? Good. I'll take over now. Go on. Beat it. Wait a minute. You still aren't gone? We still have to set something straight. I don't want to, you know, wait till he's in the middle of the room. I'm looking for Raven. Yeah, and what makes you think that Raven wants to talk to you at all? Wait, are you? Is it you? You're the guy we've been looking for for the whole time. What are you doing here? You should be long dead. People are always telling me that. Those morons all failed. But you won't get past me. This time, I'll finish you. Like I already said, it's Raven I'm looking for. You aren't important to me. I'll kill you. I've survived every battle so far. And yet here I thought I beated you. And I thought I did. Ah, you miserable dog. And I survived the explosion of the barrier without a scratch. And I took it down. And ah, you miserable dog. You can't defeat me. I'm Raven's best friend. His right hand. 
and he's gonna pay for it. Obviously, he's got no time to be picky. Ah, you miserable dog! Enough talk. Let's fight. It's too late for you anyway. Raven is opening the temple right now. Ha ha ha! Die, bastard! Ah, a fight! Ah, you miserable dog. You sure showed that bum. Nice work. Then I'll take a look around the cave. You do that, man. Alright, so let's get Thoris out of the way with Slate. No idea, you tell me. So, on your way to the mine? Actually, I want to see Raven. Hey, try to enter the temple and you're as dead as the prisoners here. Move your ass over into the mine instead. Why? Are they dead? They worked themselves to pieces. <laughs> it's good that you're surrounded. Otherwise, I would have killed you right here or right now. What are you planning? What? Now you've cleared Bloodwin out of the way too. I'm just asking myself who's next, Raven or me? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid of a fight, but I am afraid of the consequences of your actions. This camp is the only thing we have left. It may not have always run to perfection, but it does run. And with every person you kill, another piece of our community breaks up. We are bandits. Outcasts, lawbreakers, desperados. Wherever we go, we're hunted, locked up, and killed. There is no better place for us than this. No better time than now. What are you getting at? These men need someone to lead them. Who should that be? You? You who is constantly roaming from place to place? Then you take over the leadership of the camp. Okay, but what about Raven? Raven will soon have other worries. I'll take care of him. Oh, yes, and make sure that the prisoners can leave the camp in peace. All right. I shall take care of all the guards out here. Because, you know, all the bloodshed was relatively pointless. If they just had let me see fucking Raven, I could have killed that bugger and get it over with. Always have to be tricky. Hey, and you! More, believe me. Everything all right? You have to nice regular. For the poor guy. That's the way to get the fat nuggets. I used to say that myself. Hey, you! Can you judge my gold digging abilities? For you, I'd say you're a, a guru among diggers. So now, you're as good as I am. Congratulations, partner. Let the slaves go. Listen, Bloodwin is in command here. The slaves belong to him, so he has the right to set them free. Besides, Thoris also has a say in that. And what about you? Do you have any say? More than you think. I talked with Thoris. He ordered the slaves to be set free. Okay. If Thoris ordered it, but I have to ask myself why he decided on something like that. But you aren't being paid to ask questions. All right, all right. I'm obviously not needed here anymore, so I'll go get me some stew. Good. Hey. All's well. You can make yourselves scarce. Great. I know a cave in the swamp where we can gather for now, but then what? Leave the swamp towards the southwest. The water mages have set up their camp near the ruins of the old temple. They're going to show you the way out of this valley. Thanks, thank you so much. We are all very deeply... Uh... 
Never mind. All right, so let's hack the gold. Mine here? Nope. Okay. Mine here? Nope. Mine? Mine? What mine? Finally, take care of Raven. Well, first we have to go back to the water mages, but. Hey! Let's try. for the dragon book. I still got about 10k. So, uh, GG. When it comes to gold, that is. Alright, so let's take care of, uh, our good friend, Reeve. Hey, slow down. You aren't getting in there, so beat it. Get out of my way. I have to see Raven. No one enters these quarters. Direct orders from Raven himself. Here. Do you still want to stop me now? Is that... Is that blood one? Oh, that's... Oh, uh, yes, uh, 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 no, I mean, uh, uh, you can go in. Good man. I don't need this hat as a souvenir. I'll just skip them, you know, just in case it shows a black screen. Um, which happens quite often when it comes to recording or streaming the cutscenes in a gothic. So I'll just skip them because I already have them all. At least once on my YouTube channel, so you know, no really needed three times. Yeah. 
All right, so let's open these bags of gold. Let's quickly go to the water mages. Go to the ghost. Of Radimus, no, 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 no. Oh, what is Radimus? No, oh, Quahodron. Hey! About Raven, he has a gold mine, and he has the prisoners digging for gold. That sounds like him. You must get the prisoners out of there. Yes, of course. I'm working on it. There is even a fellow with the bandits who claims to know Raven's plans. His name is Fortuno. He says that Raven wants to get into the temple to get a powerful artifact. And? Did he know more about this artifact? He could only tell me that Raven has had the grave of a priest of Adonis opened. This grave may contain the key to the temple. You should take a look around there. Raven has forced the prisoners to excavate the grave of the priest. That is not good. You must hurry and stop Raven. I made my way into Raven's quarters. And? What about Raven? I came too late. He disappeared into the Adonis Temple right before my eyes. What? That is a catastrophe. Why didn't you follow him? Sorry about that guys, I was getting myself something to drink. I couldn't follow Raven. He blocked the entrance from inside. I must think. The question is, how did Raven get into the temple? And what did he do before he passed through the portal? He spoke an incantation at the gate. And before that? He opened a burial chamber. I already told you about that. Right. A ritual. Yes, that's it. I fear that Raven has made the power of the Guardians of the Dead his own. He got his knowledge of the temple from a spirit. You must go to Mixier and tell him about this. May Adonos protect you. May Adonos protect me. That's uh, uh, now I'm here anyway, so let's distill some loose double hammer. So I can deliver the booze to Samuel. Once I've gotten taken care of, our good friend, a uh, Not enough resources. Don't I have rum? I don't have rum. That explains a lot. So let's quickly talk with Mixer, and I'm quickly gonna go to the bandits. Well, the pirates. Darian Mixer. Wait a minute. Saturus sent me. Raven has made his way into the temple and blocked the portal from the inside. Saturus thinks he got his information about the temple from a ghost. By Adonis. He must have summoned the High Priest Cardamon to ask him about a way into the temple. According to the records, his grave was in the caves under the fortress. You will have to do the same, but you cannot ask Cardamon anymore. The grave of the warrior prince Quahodron is supposed to lie in the west of the valley. You will have to find it and waken Quahodron. It is written in these inscriptions how a believer of Adonos can summon a spirit. Do you think that'll really work? I've read a lot of crazy ramblings. For example, the writings of Iberian, the leader of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. But I believe every word of the author of these writings. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper didn't spread just lies. The Sleeper really existed. 
But it wasn't their lies that made them implausible. It was their words as such. They were more confusing than believable. They showed the excessive use of the swamp weed they smoked. It is the seriousness and prudence in the words on this stone tablet that convinced me that this man wrote the truth. Why Corhodron? Why not the high priest Cardamon? Raven has desecrated the grave of Cardamon with his summoning. We can assume that. We shall have to look for another spirit. Are you really serious? I want to explore every possibility. Even if there is only a ghost of a chance for us to meet one of the builders, then we have to do it. Raven has managed to do it after all. Assuming I want to summon this ghost, what do I have to do? Find Quarhodron's grave in the west of the valley. His ghost can be summoned by the words of the Guardians of the Dead, which I have written for you here. That's all. Now you just have to find the grave. Good luck, my son. All right, so let's see. Ighoriat Thorol. Appear to me, Quorhodron, ancient leader of the warrior caste. Hmm, that doesn't work here. Oh, no, really? All right, so let's quickly go to the pirates. To Oimimiji. Some rum. How much rum does Lou's hammer need? Doesn't say any kind of rum, but I suppose it's the same recipe, but I with rum. With completely. So let me get a couple of bottles of rum. Is it really true? Hey! Give me rum. Ah, this is mother's milk to a sailor. Here. What else have you got? I could get you anything a pirate needs in order to survive. How much bottles of rum would I need? I think about two each. Re already bought one, so now two. Uh oh, let's see if that works. Hey, man. Damn it. I'll make it with the water mages as soon as I summon Quahodron. The bandits have found a gold mine. I knew it. That's why they came here. Nobody would volunteer to live in this monster-ridden bog. Good work. Here, I've cut something for you. Just gossip. There's one more thing I'd like to know. And that is? He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. I'm ready to ask a question, so... I already have to redo it. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. That's all just gossip. Let me put on the armor of the ring of water and uh, go to Quahodron's grave. Game is full of books. 
so it doesn't really surprise me. Really? I haven't used it twice yet, apparently. trying to activate the call. There is also one near the pirate's camp, which is uh, probably the one that I will use. So I'll get rid of the skeletons. <laughs> and Hank. Any murky mushrooms here? Thorol, appear to me, Gorhodron, 
ancient leader of the warrior caste. Hey. Why do you disturb my rest, Guardian? Tell me, what do you desire? The land is plagued by earthquakes. We must do something, or the entire island will sink into the sea. There is nothing left for us to do. The wrath of Adonis has fallen upon Jarkendar to punish the unbelievers. Grant me access to the Temple of Adnos. The temple will remain closed for all eternity. Thus did we in the Council decide. What is in the Temple of Adnos? My greatest sorrow. My greatest disappointment. Someone has forced his way into the Temple of Adonis. Nonsense. I myself sealed the door. It is impossible to pass. Indeed. The praised wisdom of the ancestors is truly overwhelming. A man of your standing does not speak to me thus. I cannot free myself of the impression that you are not the one you pretend to be. If you require my aid, you must first prove yourself to me. Answer my questions, so that I may be sure that I do not reveal myself to strangers. Ask away. I am Quahodron, the old warlord of Jakendar. You have woken me. To which caste of Jakendar do you belong? The Guardians of the Dead. The abilities of a Guardian of the Dead would have allowed you to waken me, that is true. If you are truly the one you claim to be, you will be able to answer all of my questions. Except for one. Who once protected the people of Jarkandar from enemy attacks? The warrior cast. The Who can give me a direct order? Priests, I believe. The priest. Who brought the evil upon us? The warrior cast. The wa Who has the final word in the Council of Five? The scholars. The scholar. Who alleviates suffering and attends to the ill? The healers. The Who sealed the portal to guard the world from evil? I don't know. Good. I trust you and shall grant you my aid. So, I still knew the answers. Nice. Now listen here. A truly evil fellow has gained access to the Temple of Adonis. If you don't let me into the temple right now, it will probably be too late and everything will go down the drain. That cannot be! The High Priest Kandiman and I are the only ones in Jarkandar who know how to open the gate to Adonis' temple. Well, then your pal Cardamon must have blabbed. I'm telling you the gate was open. I saw it myself. Well... There is truth in your voice. I shall no longer doubt your words. I should hope so. Take then the password. It is written on this stone tablet. Speak the words at the sealed gate of the temple, and it will open. My time is done. Alas, I can no longer help you. But remember... Beware that the chambers of Adonis, else your death is certain. Wait, what about the chambers? 
My strength is failing. Farewell. We shall meet again in the realm of the dead. to the temple and take care of Raven for once and for all. But first, we're gonna kill a couple of critters around here, including a couple of skeletons. Feel sorry for the problem with the temple gate is solved. Has the spirit spoken? Yes, he has. Then you know how to get into the Anything temple. Correct. And he also told me what is in the temple. There, he spoke that. of a mighty sword and the chambers of Adonos. By Adonos, what fools we are. How could we have been change. so naive? The hints in the records. This sword Anything can possible. only be the claw of Beliar. We must get through those chambers as soon as possible and take possession of the weapon. 
Let's wait and see what happens. What is the Claw of Beliar? It is the incarnation of evil. Beliar himself created it. Exactly what I Whoever bears it possesses a terrible tool of destruction. The more powerful the bearer is, the mightier the power of the claw. Only someone who is strong of spirit and steadfast in his faith can withstand its spell. Now it is clear to me why the builders sealed off this valley. They brought this weapon of evil into their city and fell under its power. These arrogant fools destroyed one another out of greed. The cruelty knew no end until Adonis's wrath swept across the land and sank everything into the sea. Indeed, the creators of the portal did well to hide these things from the rest of the world. And what a tragic end for such a wonderful culture. Do you realize the urgency of our mission now? Raven is a strong fighter and is blinded by his lust for power. In his hand, the claw will be an instrument of destruction. He must not get the weapon or we shall all be lost. The claw of Balear is basically the, the weapon, the wrath of Enos in reverse, you know. What are the chambers of Adnos? We now know that the entrance is not the only obstacle that prevents us from entering the depths of the temple. In the temple itself, there are three chambers which are meant to deter all intruders. The colored relics of the builders are the key. Only if we gather all the relics and solve their riddles will we enter the inner sanctum of the temple. I don't know whether Raven was able to decipher the riddles of the temple, but if that is the case, we have a big problem. There have been all kinds of rumors. What exactly do I do with the relics in the temple? We know too little. However, it is to be hoped that you'll recognize their significance once you're in the temple. I'm sorry that I can't tell you more. It's all up to you now. Take the relics and make your way immediately to the temple. May Adonos be merciful and protect us all. Perhaps it is not yet too late. You should have known. May Adonos protect you. And that's the truth. Hey, you! I've talked to Kor Hodron. Then you were really able to waken him from the realm of the dead? That's unbelievable. I am more and more amazed by these builders. Who knows what they could have achieved if they still existed today? Alright, so let's go to Raven. Tell me that isn't true. I wouldn't have done that. You just have to listen. Some problems solve themselves. No one really knows the end. Let's get ourselves the claw. And may its power be awoken in my hands. Jahedra Akata. Jahedra Akantar. All right, here we go. Let's hope I remember all the uh, puzzles. Start. That's so not spice. Well, not sunlight. I know it's the last one. Well, I, I, for a second I really thought it was the first. So that's one death. Both 
get these murky mushrooms because uh, you might not come back here. And uh, murky mushrooms is always good. At least, in my opinion. There. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there. Now, don't go into all the corridors in order to try to get the loot, because uh, you will meet certain death. If you pick the wrong door. I think it was this one. Entirely sure. Nope. You know you can resurrect yourself with Martha mode, but the spikes will reappear then, so it's kind of pointless. That's most certainly this one. I've uh, completed this little trial, then uh, I will count to death. for eternity. At last I am free. The sword has a new bearer. The final chamber has been opened. But the gate appears closed. This is not the gate to the final chamber. This gate merely leads to the antechamber. The bearer has closed it behind him. How do I open the gate? Move one of the levers. Anyone? All of these levers open the gate. Not all of the levers trigger the trap, right? Yes, they do. Your father built the trap. How would you know how it works? Oh, Hodron. I can still hear the pounding of the hammers on the other side of the gate. After so long a time. The sword showed me revenge for my failure. You mean, you have seen which lever is the right one? I have long forgotten it. Then guess! It was so long ago. Hey!
Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. Just make double sure, you know, that none of them have loot. But nope. Sacrificing HP. Quite a bit actually. Well, not that much, but I think I prayed about six times, one of which mana. Hey, you! <sighs> Look who has come. My master warned me that Innos would send his henchmen. But I had not expected that you would appear so soon. Well, since you were so quick, <laughs> I shall give you a quick death. You sold your soul to Beliar. For a good price. I will command his armies as a general. And what about you? Do you know how much your soul is worth? More than yours. I've had it. Let us begin. Are you in such a hurry to die? Well, since you insist... <laughs> Hey! I did it. Raven is finished. That means you've given Beliar a swift kick. Then you'll be moving on. My job in this valley is done. I could use a few days rest. <laughs> yeah, you're constantly on the move, aren't you? Have a good journey. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again. Who knows? There will be lots of gates and passages for you to go through. And you're bound to find me on one of them. Let's go to the canyon. Let the pirates know that the job is done. As well as activating the claw. I think it will give any stats, you know, unlike the green novels and uh, mind alteration potion, etc. But gotta check to, to be a double issue. Let's activate the claw first.
137 damage. Let's see if I can upgrade it. Nope. So as soon as I reach a 46, I will be able to upgrade it again. Cost me 90 HP to uh, get it to the current stat, so should you as a player, you know, get this one earlier and uh, upgrade it manually, let me know how much uh, HP from the beginning till the end it will cost you, you know, so that I can compare it. Is it cheaper? Is it pretty much the same? Could be. Still brewing, huh? I want to brew, man. God damn it. I have to go back to the uh, water mage, just brew that, and I'll come back again. Let me, let me use a potion of speed. I have to deliver those uh, recipes before I will set off and go back into Okorinus. Yeah, not enough resources. What the fuck? Bottle of water. Got it. Two turnips. Got it most definitely. Decent portion of swamp weed. Add the ground teeth of the swamp shark with a shot of rum. Maybe I have to first make the first one. Let me try. Also, I'm not enough resource. I've got the turnips, don't I? Turnips got nine bottles of water. Decent portion of swamp weed. Weed. Ah, I don't have swamp weed. Does Coronos have a couple of plants? Hey. Of course not. Mom, the uh, guy at the uh, camp does at the abandoned camp. The earthquakes have stopped, and as I can see, you're still among the living. Does this mean that your mission was successful? Yes, Raven is dead. Then it is over. Thank Adonos. You have done well, my son. We're deep in your debt. You have snatched a powerful weapon away from evil and restored the balance in this part of the world. When the earthquakes died away, we discussed what should happen now, and we have reached a conclusion. Go and take the Claw of Beliar. May it be yours to bear from now on. In your hand, it may prove a mighty ally for us. Use it wisely, my son. May Adonos help you. We shall remain here and see to it that the temple is restored to its old brilliance. Only Mixar is already on his way to Corinus to support Vatras. Vatras has been alone in the city for too long. 
Hmm, I can become a water mage. Well, since I'm a servant of Balear, and I do really not support, per se, the, um, how should I say, the fire mages, and Balear is the unification of all the circles, I will become a water mage. Didn't know it was possible, though. May Adonos protect you. I can't become a water mage? Well, I guess I've spoken too soon. I have taken the Claw of Beliar. The Claw of Beliar is a very special weapon. It has its own will and consciousness. You, who now possess this mighty weapon, are its lord and master. It is a part of you and will adapt itself to your capabilities. However, it will not do that of its own free will. Only Beliar himself can force it to obey you. And why should Beliar help me? Only a prayer to Beliar can achieve that. But be careful. Beliar is malicious. If you arouse his wrath, then he'll let you feel it. I see. What can I do with the weapon? That lies in your hands. You've conquered the weapon, and you are now its master. I can only recommend to you what you can do with it. Either you give it to me, and I shall see to it that it can do no further harm, or you put its power to use and wield it in battle. Couldn't you keep the weapon safe? If you give it to me, then I shall render it harmless, so that it can no longer be misused. So consider well what you will do. What will you do now? We shall stay here and help the temple regain its former glory. All too long have its walls been in this lamentable condition. As far as you are concerned, my son, I am glad to see that I was not mistaken about you. You are the preserver of the balance. There is no longer any doubt about that. Without your courage and strength, the island of Corinus would have drowned. We thank you and will honor you in our thoughts. Devote yourself now to the other tasks that lie before you, and return this world to balance and peace. Now go and fulfill your destiny, Preserver. Our prayers will be with you. May Adonos protect you. May the gods protect me. So Kronos doesn't have any swamp weed. Let's try the uh, herbalist at the bandits camp. I'm staying out of it. Maybe Fitz. Those are all just rumors. Since he deals in that stuff. The things I could tell you. you should Show me your wares. Can't rely on that. It's better to watch out when you tell me one. No, it's one way you don't. away with that. He should have known better. Those are all just rumors. Why haven't I heard about this before? Things would have turned out differently. Let's hope this guy has it. Where is he? Hey! Let's deal. Hmm. Also no swamp weed. And I'll keep the recipes for now. Off to Carinus we go. That was no big deal. But the things I could tell you. It's exactly what I said. Better to watch out. That was no big deal. Do you really think? What does he know about duty? Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel 
and uh, if you do subscribe hit the notification bell also leave a thumbs up behind to eventually unlock the hardcore run the path of the eternal wonder and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to the valley of mines and hunt the dragons which will be again in about three four parts I presume um, depending you know on how much I die etc so uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all guys next time.